Hello everybody, it is Baldrick Sodoff here, and in today's episode I'll be talking to you about my thoughts on the, I guess, air support in Battlefield 4. So, I've just been getting into it, it's taken me about 4 days to not master the helicopter, but actually to be able to win some dogfights with it and just control it, because before when I was using my keyboard and mouse to control it, I just couldn't control it at all, so I decided, uh... If you use an Xbox controller on PC just to fly the helicopters, it does feel more like you're flying a real helicopter because you've got two joysticks or, I should say, remote control helicopter. Anyway, I suck at flying remote control helicopters, but in this, I think, since I can crash a lot of times and it doesn't cost me $100 each crash, I definitely uh, did practice a lot on the test range and I know how to sort of hover it now. I can do ground attacks, I can sweep the ground, I can uh, flare out enemies. I've programmed my controller to do all those things uh, to whatever button I want. That is just why I love the PC. Anyway, uh, so what I think uh, in this video, if you don't know, I'm using the Scout helicopter. I'm trying to unlock the 25... Oh, I have unlocked the 25mm cannons. I don't know what the hell I'm doing there, because I just looked at it now, and I've got them unlocked. Anyway, I was using the miniguns, which cannot do damage to tanks, only boats. Uh, they are definitely good at getting infantry, but I don't think they would compare to the 25mm cannons. And one thing when you're flying this helicopter, you definitely want heat seekers, otherwise you're going to lose most helicopter battles, unless you're piloting against a very bad player. So, that's what I was doing there. They weren't the best pilots, I do admit. They didn't even know how to deploy their flares. They kept on getting done pretty badly. And luckily, I had a good teammate repairing me as I was getting damaged. So anyway, uh, you also can get the jets. So the jets uh, do get are pretty weak, to be honest. They can't take too much damage from other jets. So, it's basically whoever locks on and shoots first in those jets basically wins with helicopters. It sort of... I They both take skill, but I find helicopters are a bit harder to take down if you're doing a dogfight with a helicopter because you can hover behind buildings, you can take cover. It's really fun. Uh, what else do I have to say about air support? I think the Javelin missiles are a bit overpowered, to be honest, because sometimes when I'm just flying casually pretty high, I just get locked on by a Javelin missile, and it's just a bit overpowered, to be honest. I, I even use Javelin missiles myself, and it's just super easy to kill a helicopter who's not expecting it, and I think it's a bit unfair. They should take down the range for it, because it's basically a one-hit kill or two-hit kill with a Javelin and it's a bit ridiculous. Anyway, uh, at least that helps uh, tanks out, so they can just get out, bring out the javelin, and take down the helicopter trying to kill them. So that is good if you're being a tank driver or just trying to support a tank. Uh, another thing with the basically support helicopters, I'd like to call them, because they sort of support your infantry, because you're taking down other helicopters and in infantry. Uh, they are pretty versatile little machines. They just do whatever you want them to, basically. You can take down any type of vehicle, even a hel even uh, fighter jets with helicopters. So I think if you're going to spawn in a fighter jet or a helicopter, I'd definitely spawn in a helicopter, as you tend to get more kills with them. Maybe it's just my skill level for the, hel for the jets. I do get a few kills with them, but I'm a lot better with the helicopters. And another thing with the jets, uh, you you don't, in most maps such as Dawnbreaker, it's just really hard to fly them because you've got a very limited flying area, whereas with helicopters you can hover and it makes it a very minimal problem if you're flying a helicopter. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, if you want to play with me, just add Baldrick Camps to Origin. I'll be happy to invite to uh, accept your request. But just remember, I am in Australia, so if you're in the USA or Canada or UK or something, it's probably unlikely that I'm going to get a game with you. And that really does suck, because if I try and join your game or you join my game, 
uh, either one of us is going to have 200 ping plus, so I don't think it will work out very well. But I'll still add you anyway, I've got a few uh, USA friends on Origin, so remember to have a nice day guys, and get out those Xbox controllers and helicopters. Uh, I think the joystick would be better than an Xbox controller, but I don't have a joystick laying around, so I had to make do with what I had. Anyway guys, remember to have a nice day, see you later.